Uh, my background training is, is emergency medicine and family practice, which I still do both. But my passion recently has been for uh, teaching and training physicians how to practice this. Uh, some people call it a new paradigm in medicine. I basically just call it preventive medicine, uh, which is the optimization of hormones, which is beneficial for our long-term health, but also how we feel and how we function. There's no medicine that we can take that actually improves our quality of life other than hormones, and that's why it's so popular now amongst um, the lay public, but also becoming very popular amongst physicians because patients are now demanding it. They read about it, they hear about it, they see it. Uh, physicians are not really quite clear as to what to do, how to do it. And so it's become my passion to teach them, which I have all the uh, important points that I've learned uh, in reading and research over the last uh, 15 years. Um, years and years ago when I was, and still am working in the ER, but was working in the ER, I was confronted and befriended by many of my nurses uh, asking me to prescribe hormones for them of different sorts, different types, and I wasn't quite clear as to why or how um, to do this or why they wanted it. And over a period of time, I discovered that many of the women that were on menopausal hormones did not do well on the hormones that they were taking because there were side effects to the synthetic hormones. And they wanted me to prescribe this natural stuff, didn't know anything about it. But when I did, their side effects and symptoms and problems with the synthetic hormones resolved. Women with PMS, they didn't know a treatment for PMS, but one of the nurses said they read something about progesterone, this natural progesterone, which I knew nothing about, in helping to treat women with PMS. Well, half of our nurses had PMS at one time or another, and were suffering with it, and of course, um, when they suffer, we suffer because, for obvious reasons. And I started treating them with progesterone, and lo and behold, their PMS resolved. It went away completely. And, and it sort of spread like wildfire through the hospital that Dr. Feelgood was down there and would prescribe hormones for you to make you feel good. Um, one of the nurses asked me to prescribe thyroid for them. You don't need thyroid, your thyroid levels are fine. Yeah, but it makes me feel better. It makes me get through a 12-hour shift, whereas otherwise I can't, I'm too fatigued. Well, you shouldn't be taking it for fatigue. What are your levels? Well, levels are fine, but it makes me feel better. What don't you understand about that? What don't you like about making me feel better? Well, because you don't need it. Well, why don't I need it? If I feel better and function better, then why won't you give it to me? Well, Susie's giving Mary, who's giving Joan, who's giving Judy, their thyroid hormones to take, and they all felt better on it than off of it. And they wanted me to prescribe it, and I wouldn't because I didn't understand it and it didn't make sense. One lady approached me and said, she read something about testosterone, and she wanted to try testosterone because it made her feel better and help restore her libido, energy drive, and she had better strength than she could get through the 12-hour shifts in the ER. Well, women don't need that. I don't know why you, well, please prescribe it for me because it makes me feel better. No, I won't because I don't know anything about it and it doesn't make sense. Well, suddenly all these women were coming to me with all of these things that they had read about hormones. And because I was befriended by them and worked with them and was their friend, I prescribed it for them and they all felt better. That led to the word spreading throughout the hospital again that I could treat these women with hormones and make them feel great and make them um, feel fantastic through the shifts but also make their love life better at home. And it spread and all the nurses in the OR and the CCU were talking about how I made them feel so much better. Well, it sort of provoked the ire of the staff physicians to then sort of confront me with, what are you doing that are making these women feel so better? Why are you doing it? And we want to know what it is and whatever it must be to make them feel better must not be good. Well, I suddenly sort of had to research this, which I did, to present at Grand Rounds. And at the Grand Rounds, the physicians came. It was the most well-attended Grand Rounds we've ever had at the hospital. But it was also heavily attended by the nurses that I was treating, who tried to explain to the physicians, and me, what a difference it made in their life and how much better they felt. Well, after this was all over with, the physicians were sort of stunned by the dramatic presentation from the nurses as to how much better they felt and how they functioned. And with the little research that I did on the medical literature showing that, yeah, maybe these do work better, maybe it is beneficial, it is in the science. Uh, someone there had an idea that, you know, nobody knows this like you do. Why don't you teach this? Why don't you put together some courses for the local doctors and teach them and show them how to do this? Okay, so I did. Well, there was a pharmacist that attended and said, you know, you need to teach this to other people in town. Why don't we put together courses? That was 15 years ago, and now I'm teaching courses throughout the world, throughout the U.S. on bioidentical hormones or natural hormones or preventive medicine or feel-good medicine based on the scientific literature. 